Today we're doing something a little bit different on the channel. Hey, what's up? My name is Mathilde. Welcome back to the Pixar YouTube channel. And today I'm going to be showing you how I create my monthly setups on my digital bullet journal. So if you're interested in creating your own digital bullet journal, I cannot say that word digital. I'm going to take you along. Plan with me for my May setup. <laughs> Hi, welcome to the narration part of this video. So basically I'm just gonna talk you through what I'm doing so that you can get a general sense. The first thing that I'm doing is I'm opening up a two by three setup and because I'm gonna make this into a digital book but you can flip through the pages, I go ahead and mark the middle of the two pages but if you're just gonna print this out, you can just skip this. First spread that I'm gonna be doing is just like a month overview where I'm gonna have all the dates and then a title page. Usually for my title page, I like to do something that reflects my mood for the month and for some reason may is just giving like y2k spring vibes don't know what aesthetic that is i completely just made it up but i'm gonna go for something that's a little bit like colorful and i'm gonna be using a lot of like old y2k type of tech if you've watched any of my videos where i design on this channel or on tiktok which you can follow us at pixart I like to do a lot of like doodling. So that's definitely gonna be something that you will see throughout all of this. The color palette that I'm gonna go for is a little bit different from what I usually do because I like to do very matching tones. And I think this time I'm gonna choose colors that like don't really have anything to do with each other. And that's the red, this kind of like purple bluish tone, a yellow and a pastel pink because it's not, a, it's not a design of mine if it doesn't have some pastel pink involved in it. For the May page, I really just decided to go with a foam thing because I think it looks really cool. First, I really didn't like these colors, but as I go on, they kind of grow more and more on me. And I also decided to go for a darker background so we can make the days of the week stand out. I don't think I'm going to do this for the other pages. I think I'm just going to do like a tone that's in between bright white and the beige that I used. But I think for this page, it looks really cool. I'm going to leave every everything blank throughout this video because obviously this is just my bullet journal setup so I'm going to be using it throughout the month. Usually what I put in these little dates is just like birthdays or like holidays or trips or any events that I have coming up that I know like straight off the bat will take up like a whole day. I don't bother putting in like meetings and stuff like that. Moving on, the second page that I do usually on my spreads is like a favorites of the month. I personally use these a lot more than the weekly ones. Probably should start choosing this because I keep forgetting different things that I have to do. But faves of the month has always been my favorite part of the planner. In fact, I used to have a bullet journal where I just did faves of the month and different things that happened that month. Just more of like a scrapbook vibe. I like to look back a lot on these things and I think they're really interesting. So again, keeping with the theme of like Y2K tech, we're putting this on like a computer type of screen, kind of set this up like a gallery. They're just squares. So I don't really, I don't know if you get the vibe of the gallery, but I know they're a gallery. I usually like to write these off with my own handwriting because I'm a bubble writing fanatic. However, if you're using Pixar, you can also just like use any of the fonts that they have. There's some particular ones that I'm really a big fan of. I really like the cyber <laughs> I'll put the name on the screen. I really like this font. Saturday Loving Regular is also really fun. Amadeo, Another Hand. I'm just going to be using my handwriting because I like to have the same brush throughout all of this. The brush that I'm using is one of the last brushes. Um, it looks like this on the app and it's genuinely like one of my favorite brushes because it just looks like it's actually been drawn by pencil. I'm also drawing all of this with a gray, not a black because black basically absorbs all the colors around it and looks very overpowering. Over on the side, I'm going to put a little mp3 type of thing again going in with a y2k type of genre i'm putting a space for the album picture and i'm also just gonna put spaces underneath for other songs that i like but then as a little addition on the side i just put a little like email emoji thing and i just put more usually what i do with these things is just write like other random thoughts fun things that happen throughout the month highlights if i want to put more pictures but that's the favorites of the month moving on we have the last page of my spread usually, which is the weekly spread. Usually for my weekly spreads, I like to do very simple placements because I'm just going to write things very messily if I'm being very honest with you guys. I'm writing the week 
at the top so I actually know when this is from because I often forget to do that and then I just get like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and I'm trying to think what Monday it was and I'm gonna go for the tech vibes. My reason why I really don't like normal planners is because I cannot stand writing on lines like I just don't like it at all. I think that's also why I just love bullet journaling is because you can actually customize your planner to your needs. Like for example I know that the week after this I have so many things to do on Monday so instead of splitting it between Monday and Tuesday I'm just gonna do a section just for Monday because I know that I'm gonna have to write a lot of things down. Yes it takes more effort to set it up but then it's more personalized and personally as someone who never uses her planner that she keeps buying new ones and then forgetting that I have a planner already I just never use it. This is just so much better because I can just organize everything to what I want. Over on the corner I'm gonna add a little note section in the shape of a phone. We got it we gotta bring that theme in around somewhere and I'm gonna add some doodles to it again because because if you've seen any of my videos you would know again that I am obsessed with these little doodle combinations of the star little asterisks dots and little balls. They're so cute and so easy to add to it anything. Once this is done, I'm going to import it onto my book app and this is what it looks like. I think it's really cute and yes, I'm biased because it's my own planner that I designed. I'm 100% sure I'm going to be using it so much throughout the month. I was just editing the footage and I realized that I lost my outro. So to conclude, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you start doing your own bullet journal, make sure to tag us because I want to see what designs you guys come up with. As always, don't forget to download Pixar and follow us on our socials. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe because we have videos every Monday. Bye.